there is some contradiction in the administration's strategy. Uh, you say and, and keep saying that policy is unchanged. You believe in the One China policy, the Shanghai communique, all the various declarations after that. And then President Biden has four times now said unequivocally the United States will come to Taiwan's assistance uh, if there is a Chinese attack on it. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? That's the commitment we made. Would U.S. forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. After our interview, a White House official told us U.S. policy has not changed. Officially, the U.S. will not say whether American forces would defend Taiwan. But the commander-in-chief had a view of his own. So unlike Ukraine, to be clear, sir, U.S. forces, U.S. men and women, would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion? Yes. Um, what is President Biden trying to alter the policy of strategic ambiguity about what the United States would do in this circumstance and be very clear about it? And if that's the case, is that not a change in policy? So President Biden has answered this hypothetical question on multiple occasions, as you say. He has also, on multiple occasions, including in the very same breath, said that our policy towards cross-strait relations towards China and Taiwan has not changed, that it is rooted in the One China policy, the three joint communiques, the Taiwan Relations Act. That remains the fundamental foundation of our policy. The president himself has said that. He said it directly to Xi Jinping. But, but there's I a contradiction here. Me. Well, first of all, the entire Taiwan policy of the United States is built on uh, a series of internal tensions. We are for de-risking not for decoupling. We are not looking to decouple our economy from China. There was a Harvard-Harris poll this month that found that 53% of the public, including a fourth of Democrats, believe, quote, Joe Biden was involved with his son in an, in an illegal influence peddling scheme. Uh, there's, of course, evidence that the president interacted with his relatives, associates from China, uh, Mexico, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Ukraine. Uh, so what do you say to the majority of Americans who believe that the president is himself corrupt? Wow. <laughs> Can I take that question? Uh, president, the, president, the president has spoken to this. Uh, the president has spoken to this. Uh, and there's nothing to these claims. On May 10th, they issued a report showing that the Biden family allegedly funneled $10 million into their bank accounts while Joe Biden was vice president. Members of the committee have said there may be several national security concerns at hand here with their alleged ties to the foreign countries. Um, Admiral, have you read the report yourself, and do you personally think that there are any national security concerns here? No, and no. Good.